What's going on everybody? Brian Mann here, Hands-On Auto Training. Guys, I have a really important story or diagnostic process to share with you. It's very simple and I know many of you in the audience understand these processes and procedures, but some of you don't and it's really important that we all take a step back and look at what's going on. In this example, we have a 2015 Ford Transit Connect van. This is a little Transit Connect that's setting a bunch of throttle body codes. This is P0122, uh, P0222, I think we had a P1124 and also a P0073 setting here. Uh, as you see, I was on site, plugged into the vehicle, we had these codes setting. Now the first thing I did at this point was I took a look at the scan data. I didn't go poking around at this point, I didn't do anything besides just, I already got the scan tool plugged in, let's see what the scan data shows. And as you see here, both our TP1 and our TP2 are very low. We got low voltage. We should be expecting three tenths to four tenths, maybe five tenths of volt. I don't know exactly, but I do know that this is too low. So anyhow, at this point, I decided let's go ahead and take a look at this service information. So using all data in this example for our service information, we've got our vehicle typed in here. If I just type in P0122, I wanna show you what comes up. We have all data find a fix. However, I did not look at this, this information right here. I do want to tell you that there is a TSB. I did click on this TSB and this shows as clear as day uh, that we have our P0122 listed here. We also have a P0222 listed here. And they're talking about uh, issue with a harness. It's really simple to see. Let me go ahead and see if this will blow up. Clearly, I don't think it will. Um, but you can see here, they're talking about a uh, harness rubbing at different points on the transmission case. And uh, guys, at this point, this vehicle was not easily lifted. It was kind of, it wasn't on the rack. It was uh, pushed back in the corner. So at this point, I went ahead and I wanted to get my multimeter out and it's pretty easy to find a diagram and let's check our five volt reference. That's just why I thought I'd see. Let's see what the multimeter shows us on these circuits. So taking a look still in all data, I was just looking for a, a diagram to show us the uh, throttle body that would be showing us our TP1, TP2. So I'm just going to go to powertrain management. And I don't know which diagram it was, to be honest with you, but we can just click through these. I don't mind clicking through them one at a time. And you'll see a diagram coming up pretty soon of our throttle body and also our EPP. So our accelerator pedal position sensor and our throttle body will come up on a diagram once I get there. And we're still cruising, it's still looking. So here you go, here's your electronic throttle control and here's your APP, accelerator pedal position. At this point I thought, well, let me just go ahead and see, since both of these circuits are low, uh, our TP1 and our TP2 are both low, I thought let's check the five volt reference. And here I am, on my five volt reference, what do I have? We have very low voltage. If you're interested in using the same multimeter that I use, the Astro 6000 series, it's a pretty good meter. Be sure to check out the link in the description below. So back to this 0.15 volts on our 5 volt reference. That's not good, right? I had to move the vehicle around to get it so we could put it up in the air. And sure enough, just as the technical service bulletin stated, right where that uh, harness uh, goes by the transmission, it rubbed through and it pinched. Uh, should I say it rubbed through a bunch of wires and they got corroded because the insulation was wore away and we live in the salt belt or rust belt if you will. So just so you see here we had 0.15 volts on one side of this and on the other side of this wire we had 5 volts if we tested with a, our multimeter. I didn't get a picture of that for you. I wish I did. I hope everybody's doing really well. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns be sure to let me know. If you're a technician out there watching us, be sure to check your technical service bulletins. They can lead you the right way. Just so you guys know, I'm in Kansas City right now at Vision. Here's a view out my window. I don't know if it'll auto zoom in or focus or not, but yep, you know, we're out in Kansas City, Overland Park. I'm super pumped for Vision, uh, trying to work in my hotel room. I hope everybody's doing good. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Have a great day. Bye-bye.